after the puppy went to sleep because I've been sleeping horrible lately. I have such a bad cough that it keeps waking me up in the middle of the night and it keeps waking up Alec and Winston in the middle of the night. So last night was not as bad as the nights before. I woke up at 1.30 and at 4.30 coughing and I only woke up the other two at 4.30, which is actually a win because it's been really bad the last few nights, but we're gonna get ready and go to the gym. gym welcome to this vlog this is work from home diaries today I want to specifically highlight how I keep my healthy habits up when I work full-time which I get a pass because I get to choose when I work so I have an easier time of doing this than other people do but I still have to make time for it and I still have to fit it in. For my exercise schedule, I cycle sync my workouts. So if you don't know what that means, it's just based on your cycle as a woman. So you do high intensity workouts when you are ovulating, low intensity when you're on your period, all that good stuff. So today we are doing the 12 3 30 at the gym which I consider high intensity. I always am super red faced afterwards and I think I feel really good afterwards and it's really hard so I think that counts. But anyways, so that is what I do for my workouts. Also, I do exercise four to five times a week and I'm really proud that I can say that because I feel like I, pretty active for the most part. I do a lot of walks, lots of pickleball in the summer. That is my workout schedule, but when I do the 12 3 30, I normally just watch YouTube videos and it's a good time. So I'm gonna do that and then get home as fast as possible to wake up the puppy because he will be awake by the time I get back. That was so hard, I don't know why. Yesterday, it was way easier than it was today. I am dripping everywhere. I guess that's a good thing though, if you want to actually get your workout on, so. Time to go home and let out my puppy to go potty, and then I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna leave him downstairs and see what happens. He may freak out but I'll give him something to eat on while I'm gone. Did you have a good nap? Did you have a good nap?
He's being ornery right now. He won't come on the grass. He keeps climbing on the deck. I don't know what he's doing up there. He's being trouble is what he's being. He's just sitting up here watching me. What are you doing, man? There it goes. All right, we're gonna try something. I'm gonna take a shower while you're awake, but I'm gonna give you a little treat to occupy you while I'm busy. His little treat is a frozen carrot. If you've never heard of this, I heard they were good for teething puppies like you. Alrighty, here you go. You can have your carrot. Enjoy. I'll be back. He needs to get used to, oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. He needs to get used to being alone when he's awake. So this is good practice. Whew. I need a shower. Much better. I'm not going anywhere today, or at least I have no plans. So full work from home fit here. And I'm wearing this Paris because it's the start of the Olympics today. So I love Paris. I went there once. I probably wouldn't go again, but it was really cool to go visit. So that's why I'm wearing this sweatshirt. Let's go check on the little guy. I hear him whining. So obviously he's not doing well. Look what I found. <laughs> we have this gate because we don't want him to climb the stairs. Because it's not good for him to climb the stairs. What? It's okay. It's okay. You're not alone that long. It's okay. You're good. Yeah, you're all good. Didn't even eat his carrot. Buddy, get your carrot. Eat it. I gave it to you. He's too distraught. Maybe he's feeling separation anxiety. I don't know. Don't bite me. Ah! This is my bowl. It has chocolate chips and honey. He wouldn't stop biting me, so I put him on the floor. But chocolate chips and honey because it's the end of the month and I need groceries. So not the best. I don't think you should take this to be inspiration for your own meals. <laughs> but I'm going to eat this. And I'm going to edit a real while I eat this because I need to start working. It's now 10, 10 o'clock. <coughs> I'm about to jump on a call in 12 minutes, but just to look a little bit more professional, I'm going to put some makeup on real fast.
jump on this call. I will see you when it's over because I don't want to film while it's going. <laughs> the meeting is done, so that went well. Now I'm sitting outside with Mr. Winston. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. Just getting some sunshine. He's going potty. I'm gonna eat some lunch. I left my computer in my office. I'm not gonna bring it downstairs to hang out with him. He doesn't go upstairs, by the way. He stays downstairs only. So I'm gonna just work on my phone and edit reels downstairs while I eat lunch. And we're probably gonna do some tidying because our house needs it. So work from home vibes. We're killing it over here. I'm Michael. We dated for a while. I don't think so. I'm doing this for you, Marinette. I didn't want it. Well, did you? Why? Did you don't appreciate what I'm doing right now? And another way that I ensure some healthy habits in my work from home days is I take breaks or get up at least every 30 minutes or every hour just because I already have bad eyesight so just staring at screens for a really long time is not good for me but also just for my body for my back just all of the physical mental things I think it's good to get up and do things so I just got up and folded some laundry and then came back that's kind of my work from home tip just to help out we're not meant to sit for hours on end in front of a computer so it's just good to mix things up a little bit but Alec is home now he's taking care of the dog outside and I may get up again and maybe cook dinner soon i don't know i don't know what the night holds but we'll see <laughs> now going to be cooking dinner Alec is gone he has a work meeting tonight so I am making salmon because he hates salmon <laughs> so I'm gonna bake it in the oven with some Brussels sprouts and then I have some leftover rice I'll use as well let's make one of my favorite meals
we are watching the Olympic ceremony. We being Alec is back. And Winston, of course. And I was working while I was watching it, but then I hit the amount of hours I needed. So now I'm doing work house projects while watching it. Good time. Okay. <laughs> So, we're having a good time watching him. Some of the performances are weird, but still pretty fun. It's also fun because we've been to Paris, so we like seeing the places that we've been to on here. I never finished the vlog yesterday, but we just watched the Olympics and went to bed, so nothing exciting there. I wanted to share one more work from home tip and keeping up with my healthy habits tip since that's the point of this video. I think one of the hardest parts about working from home is separating your work with your relaxation. I have a really hard time with that and what I try to do is set a time where I'm supposed to be done working for the night. Obviously, you saw in last night's clip that I didn't do a good job of this, but having a time where I can shut my brain off and just be relaxing every day is really important. The best way, I think, to combat that is to have certain areas in your home that are designated for work and designated for relaxing. So... I've talked about this before, but I tried not to work in my bed unless it's a really bad day and I'm not feeling good. My couch, however, is relaxing and work, mainly because I need to be downstairs to watch Winston, so that is not the best. But my office is a work-only space. That is where I work and I can be focused in there. So just kind of having designated spaces in your house for work and relaxing will help your brain have that association. I'm gonna end off this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel. Let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me, cause I love to do this for you. And I will see you whenever I see you next. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.